live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Mick Strawn. And this is episode 66. Feebles, meet the Feebles. I've been singing that song all day. I was at work singing that. 1989. Wow. Was it his first one? No. No, he had two before this, I think. So you had the Valley? Uh, Oh, no, Dead Alive was after that. Okay. I was singing it Bad Taste. See, the first movie I saw of his was this one. Heavenly Heavenly Creatures. Creatures. Yeah. And The Frighteners. I remember that one very well. Yeah. And of course, Lord of the Rings. Anyway. Okay, so... Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson. We were just talking about how yeah. I think the first movie I remember was Heavenly Creatures, which was 94. And then I remember <laughs> The Frighteners, of course. And then, and then I had of to course, bring up. Who else would remember Lord of the Rings, right? Right. Exactly. But, had to I, but I had to bring up. <laughs> Dead Alive. For some weird reason. Dead Alive and. Yes. Meet the Feebles. Meet the Feebles. But why did you bring up Dead Alive? Just, just so I know. Oh, Dead Alive? Just, was it a coincidence? It's incredibly, um, it is like the most horrible, horrible horror thing. It's, it's so soaked with blood that there, there is, it is actually a, uh, scene in there where uh, a man's intestines are actually strangling him. Wow. I don't think yeah. I've seen this one. I've got to see it now. Oh, you've never seen this? I don't think so. Oh my God. It's, uh, it's That's on my list pretty now. mean. Yeah, that there was a there was a story um, on the set uh, that uh, they had they didn't have much money, so they built uh, they built the entire floor with um, uh, particle board, and then uh, the blood that kept getting on the particle board uh, kept soaking into it and soaking it into it until uh, the entire floor sank <laughs> out of it and they had to replace it yeah particle board and moisture don't really make <laughs> it seems like somebody would think of that yeah well you know that's uh so that's, it's, 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 he was a new goal maker so. i feel like this this description should be like five pages long but <laughs> because this had a lot a lot a lot this a lot, is a lot. lot of stuff going on boy so multiple <laughs> uh, meet the feebles yeah. Multiple animals and insects experience the sleazier side of show business while working on a variety show. Kind of like Whoa, Muppet, the Muppets, that, but yeah, a twisted version. Twisted, but really twisted. So let me show you my notes here. Okay. This is my... Uh, How many pages you got there? Let's see, mommy. Oh, here we go. So here it is. Meet the... <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first attempt, and then I said, okay, let me try again. Uh, and then I was like, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wrote down two. Wait, 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 wait. I have to explain what we're looking I at. I wrote it. down four things. Four things. <laughs> so I can go through them real quick. Peter Jackson, did he use drugs much? That was my first question. <laughs> and then Bletch, that was like question mark. Yeah, what is a, weird, a terrible name? Really uh, and then Hippo, for some reason, I said Me Too. Oh, Me Too. This had a lot of Me Too theme going through it, like yeah. the Me Too movement. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then Harry, the. Okay, my daughter was watching the show when she was two years old that she liked on Netflix. Right. And it creeped me out. Yeah. It was called Harry the Bunny. And it looked like Harry the Bunny in this one. <laughs> and that really freaked me out. But anyway, so this movie is just full of so much <laughs> that I there, have no idea what to think of. There is so much going on here that um, yeah, the thing is, is I, it just looks like they just took every vice and every uh, quote unquote perversion and um, alternate lifestyle and just tried to cram it all into one it's like somebody took a, show. a series from an entire year 200 episodes and just crammed them all into one movie right and in, into one movie because you have things going on you have the, uh, there's too many th- plots there were like and, and, subplots and, under subplots <laughs> under subplots <laughs> there, there is and and the thing is is it's all just filthy and disgusting <laughs> and the look of it was filthy and disgusting i think that we also uh saw a korean ripoff uh <laughs> version of it because it it obviously looked like it was taken from a uh uh 
It like was hard tape. to watch. It was hard to watch. It was it was a uh, very hard to watch. What I saw down there was in a screening room, and it was uh, much very very clean um, and very bright actually. Yeah, so I, I tried to I found a recording uh, of it on YouTube, and it was like really blurry. So it's yeah. like I guess there's are there any good copies of this one? I mean, I'd like kind to actually of, buy the movie. Yeah, nice. kind of hard to hard to say. Yeah, you know, I don't know what the distribution of it was originally. You know, to tell you the truth, originally it came out on tape. I don't know if anybody's ever sat down and and tried to come out with a great version of it in um in, in a digital format. Because honestly, why would you work on this thing? I know. You know, because as Peter Jackson's had That's some amazing one, stuff. Right? And yeah, this is his second, second film. feature one. And, um, you know, it, it it's successful for what it is. So what made him decide to drop the puppet thing? It seemed like that was kind of his thing for a while. Cause yeah, bad yeah, taste. cause bad taste. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. No, I can't, I can't say, but, um, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's the height. So I, my issue. It's, it's I do the have one issue with this one. And one it's, issue. It's basically what we're saying. You, you have one issue. It was too much stuff going on. I mean, I don't mind the filthiness. I, I could live with that. Right. It's entertaining right. to me. Yeah. And it was almost beyond filthy. You know what? You know what it was? It was kind of like Avengers. Yes. Too much. Too much. Thing. Too much stuff. There was so, so many things. I was going thinking on. of Fritz the Cat or like Robert Crumb, like the movies they made, right. Based on his stuff, right. Like Fritz the Cat is the only one I can think of. I was right. trying to think of something, but, but basically it was like a movie and there wasn't too much in one, in, in one, an hour and a half or whatever time it was. Right. It was, it made sense. This one confused me a lot. I was and like, it was very long. What the hell's going this on? This was really long. I couldn't really see who characters were. The voices were hard to hear. I was like, what's going yeah, on? I, 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 I tried to turn the subtitles on and they're Korean. <laughs> it was yeah, right. Well, the, and I have to say that in all honesty, it, it, it was a lot funnier when you could see, Everything yes, that there was were a lot on. of visuals. I mean, it's a puppet thing. Of course, yeah, you're, you're, right. It's all visual, <laughs> right? There's, and, and, there's some sex scenes that were very visual. Yeah, very visual. And there's one that I had my dad sitting with me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The thing is, is there there are so many things going on here that to talk about any one of them and not give it all away. But I don't know that well, I we have can to talk worry about, about. You don't have to worry about giving it away. Yeah. But you can start with themes. Like, let's talk about. Let's see what. Rape, murder, rape. Oh death, yeah, but, accidental uh, uh, death, drugs, Dr- <laughs> drugs, drugs. Yeah. Uh, um, but how about the Me dri- Too movement? How, how, <laughs> me, how about dr- the driving, uh, driving a car through one of the characters? Right, it's not around, not not over. Through one of the characters. This is you know what's really disturbing about this. Actually, I was thinking when I was watching this. Is there's a lot of stuff that's paralleling the news right now, like a car <laughs> running people over, a mass shooting, uh, right? The Me Too movement. What right. else is out there? Uh, I mean, it's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, you know, I had to write down this: is that in in uh, her carrying the gun and shooting it? What was really great is that she did these like short little. Uh, it wasn't like just like grab the the M M fifty and just, and just everybody and mow everybody down. It was da 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 da. Da, Maybe that's the only sound da, effect da, they had. Yeah, but that's kind of what I thought. I was, I was kind of thinking about that. They just didn't have that many bullets for. They the, worked with what they, they had. They didn't have that many blanks for the gun. Right. You know, that's what I was not sound thinking, effects, but blanks. Yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, oh yeah, but it, it is hilarious. You have a, uh, you have AIDS, and AIDS was relatively yes. new at that point. Yeah. You know, you had. The, by the way, AIDS was called the disease. Uh, you had. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 you you had a reporter uh, that was uh, a fly and uh, eventually gets drowned in a toilet. Uh, <laughs> I like the the accidental death of the the, the cow sitting on the was it a praying mantis? <laughs> right. <laughs> you you had the uh, oh god the, the fan that goes wrong. And well, the, the sex scenes were really disturbing for me. I, I can't get one out of my head where it was really just a lot of moisture involved with it and, and you could see oh, things, oh, things being was, inserted it, it, there was <laughs> that was a little much but, but i, I like the walrus but it was one. a puppet the walrus was one was tasteful <laughs> the walrus yeah. and the cat <laughs> <laughs> that was tasteful how about how about the uh that was oral sex how too, about the film one. the film that they were making you know yes. with, the, with the rings on the <laughs> on all the teats the, the, <laughs> 
It was, which I, which I, hippo, hippo sex with teats. But there was a love story. And then they w- added death to it because she <laughs> dies accidentally. So so they make it a snuff film? A sex and oh, snuff we film? Make, we oh, we can make it into a snuff film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know William Butler? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> hey, listen, William's doing straight ahead. Yes, uh, Disney stuff now. So, Very serious. No, yeah. Don't mean to, yeah. I don't want to talk Disney. That. Yeah, don't. Avengers. Don't tra- don't, Avengers. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say anything bad about Disney or the Avengers. <laughs> Oh man! Um, so yeah, I don't even know where. To st- I mean, you have more. You have notes. So. Well, I got notes like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, some of the lines that you want to forget forever was like, uh, oh, "Oh, look out! It's going to be a gusher." <laughs> <laughs> right. In, in this context, in this, co- you can imagine what context that was referring to. Yeah. yeah and these are Muppets. Yes. Right. Uh, it's going to be a gusher. <laughs> oh, how about the guy that said, I, I never do two takes? Yeah. He's the guy that's making the porno that's being made on the set yes. of of the Feebles. Yeah. So this, oh, this is like they somebody just said, hey, let's make the least PC movie we can make now. <laughs> this, they, they probably couldn't make it nowadays. Oh, yeah. Oh, but no, no. one thing I noticed was the that was really weird to me, but I guess at the time, maybe not. Uh, the fact that they were they were supposed to be in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, yeah. And these characters were like the, the Japanese, like, character that people did in the 40s like <laughs> charlie, <what> <laughs> charlie chan you know the yeah, voice yeah how inappropriate yeah. was that oh man oh and there's a so deer great. hunter theme yeah going there on was there. oh with definitely the, the deer hunter with the guns <laughs> in, the, yeah. in, in the head and you know in the tiger trap you know and the guy just turns and leaves him down it seem like somebody had a really bad lsd trip and, and just wrote everything down like <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this a movie. <laughs> we can't use real people because uh, it's so messed up. It was so great. And, and he's trying to get smacked through the whole thing, you know, and he, it, off of the other sleazy character. And then there's those characters that had the legs and the, you know, the really buff legs. <laughs> oh, oh ha, how did, how did you like the, 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 uh, the, uh, obviously that there was an implied sex scene between a chicken and an elephant <laughs> right. because because the kid came out being a chicken elephant right that's oh no it was and a, he was paternity yeah yeah he's going for paternity it on looks it, nothing right? like me it looks nothing <laughs> like me <laughs> it's exactly like him elephant chicken uh, he was actually my probably i like that character the elephant <laughs> and i love i love the fact that that, that two of the main car- characters were uh were, were uh new zealand versions of uh christopher lloyd's voice and <laughs> paul lynn's voice well this was done in new zealand right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. done so, done around auckland so it's weird that he did this in new zealand no, wellington what am i saying and then years later he did lord of the rings in new zealand <laughs> yeah well yeah yeah, yeah. Th- that's the other thing that bothers me though that's one thing right there is that there was tons of stuff done in New Zealand, but people always credit Peter Jackson oh. for discovering New Zealand when he did Lord of the Rings. But I'm yeah, like, well, screw him. I was there first. We were we, <laughs> we we were there with Hercules first, you know. Renaissance Films was there. In fact, first. you probably told him. Yeah. No. Well, no. hey, listen, we Renaissance, you know, and New Line w- did a lot. Of, kind of kind of were in direct competition all the time so you know you can bet that new line was watching when uh renaissance was coming up with the tv show from hercules and all that stuff and they knew what it looked ah. like believe me um so uh at the scene uh how about the uh the musical number that came <laughs> up you know what what was the musical number called the one at the beginning the, no, the one at the end oh I'll let you say it. Uh, oh, I can't even. I, I, I can't I, remember. I, remember it. I can't remember. I can't remember it. it. Uh, I, I really can't. I'm blanking on. But it. but it's great because they it, they had the penis columns and the and, oh. and the <laughs> and the glitter balls, <laughs> glitter balls and glitter balls is you know as pairs up there and uh, there was some really good phallic very in the, things going oh, on. Oh man, God. It just went on and on. So the sweetest on. character was that that I don't know if he was a porcupine. I guess he was. He no, not a porcupine. This guy right here, the hedgehog. 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 Yes. He, he was like the nicest character. Yeah. But. Yeah, and, and he had to go through hell on <laughs> with, with everybody else. <laughs> I did love the stage manager character, though. I, 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 yes. I mean, yeah, really. 
But it was a terrible. It was a terrible print. It was really, really, really dark. And, and I do like the fact that every car that was in it was a Morris Minor. Did you notice that? Mm. Every car when they're on the street um, is a Morris Minor. See, I need to watch this again because I think I was shell shocked and I I don't remember some of the details. So this is one of those movies you, I would need to watch like three times. Before yeah, I see, really, you you do definitely need to really talk see, about it. Yeah, you you because for half the movie I was like staring at it like what? Huh? I have some people <laughs> I have to get a hold of and try and get a better print of that because it's just that's that was terrible. I can't believe it's not for sale. Like uh, I don't know, it's not. Come on, Mister Jackson, put uh, it I, put it out there. Why not? Yeah, I have no idea why. That's the only one that I could get a hold of. Some of these people need to go to uh, the people you worked with on this. Right. Well, they you know what? show up at Comic Cons. Maybe, the, maybe there was a couple of them, but maybe they were expensive. I don't remember. So, okay, look at this. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's wrong. Kid. Yeah. But, yeah. You mean, uh, so then I saw this. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 run away run away katie cheap pussy yes i don't have any notes other than has the, great little yeah that was the other thing about it is is the film did have a couple of sweet spots in it as it went along but um like you say it overall yeah, like the hedgehog and the the, the hedgehog, hedgehog in the in the was it a poodle what was it I don't know. Cat? <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting Something now like what that. it was, but he was in love with this uh, other character on the show and he was yeah, singing yeah. to her. That was a weird scene. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> but I maybe the audio was the audio... I had trouble with the audio, I guess. Yeah, well, er- everything it was, it was, it was a bad print. It, it, it was a really bad print. But because um, I so, see pictures and I'm like, okay, it looked like it was really good. So but, this is, but but this is also the beginnings of Weta. You know, the puppeting and so forth is uh, Weta went on to do um, more of uh, monsters and stuff, and then went from monsters to doing uh, uh, CGI production. Oh. You know, so that that was all Richard Taylor and, huh. and Weta and Peter Jackson. Awesome. So, um, I don't have really th- everything to say. I, need, I think yeah, well, I feel we, like I need to watch it three more times and we'll talk about it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you no. should. <laughs> but yeah, that and, and bad taste and, and, and all of the early, or early films, it's, it, it's amazing that, uh, th- that out of all that, you know, eventually they got Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I feel like anybody who likes the Lord of the Rings series should watch this. Cause they'll be like, what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> see, see now, now this, the, I, I've honestly kind of felt that way a little bit is like, how is it that they picked that yeah. group, you know, the Peter Jackson group and stuff to do Lord of the Rings? You know, everybody wanted to do Lord of the Rings. And he did an all right job of Lord of the Rings. But you know what? It looked exactly like I thought it was going to look like. Right. You know what I mean? Like you I expected mean, it. Like, like yeah. Exactly like you expected it. And um I like to, I'd like to see somebody do another take on it, really. I want to see a Tim Burton version. Yeah, exactly. That'd be, wow. Yeah. That'd be weird. Exactly. <laughs> Go way out there. Way right. out there. Or, oh, wait. John Waters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> John Waters with him. Yes. Yeah. Tim, with Tim Burton. With Tim Burton, right? I, I feel like they'd fight a lot, and he'd probably make fun of his hair. <laughs> John would make fun of a <laughs> Tim Burton's hair. Yeah, but you know what? You, you don't know that that'd be a bad thing. <laughs> I get Nicolas Cage to be in the movie. You don't know that. Okay, that'd be a bad thing. And Peter Dinklage. Would he be a giant? <laughs> sometime or an we, elf. Some, uh. Sometimes we've got to go over, and, and, and I'll show you uh, from Hercules some of the giant sequences that yes. we did. Well, there's the one that giant I... giant sequences were I was fun. tooling around YouTube, and I saw one that I really liked. It was... a. Uh, a giant getting punched in the face and falling on a cart. Right. And he fell on the cart, right? Hercules punched him, yeah. Yeah. And, and and none of that was optical. That was all that was all done with uh, uh force of perspective and uh you know long shots and foreground miniatures and stuff and, and making sure that, you know, when you're he's standing, he's standing on a on a miniature place that's cut into like an uh, mm-hmm. another yeah, it's it that was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, because we did the complete thing uh, without ever once going to an optical. Yeah. And, and, it, and it worked. Giant, giant, giants work pretty well. I mean, you know, if you know how to get around it. I mean, with, with that going 
going from the shuffling process on across. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of interesting stuff. It really is. Were there any amazing special effects in uh, <laughs> Meet the Feebles? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that you know anybody you know, on the set actually kept their lunch down was probably a pretty good special effect. <laughs> Yeah, it was just there had to be a lot of disgusting fluids on the set, you know, because there were a lot on film. Yeah, yeah. puppets were destroyed for sure. I yes, think. exactly. Yeah. No, but we did a. You, you know, I I will tell you a kind of a fun thing is my son went down and and worked at the Weta shop for a week. Uh, oh, yeah. We just sent him down from Auckland. Yeah. Uh, uh, he really got along with Richard Taylor really well, and w- we sent him from Auckland down on on just a just by himself uh sent him on a plane huh. and uh how old was he when he oh how old was I mean, he? obviously old enough to fly probably well yeah i mean what what, what year was it it's 94 say 93 94 um so do 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 i'm gonna say that he was probably 12 wow Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and 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 he went down there and they uh let him sculpt and slip mold his own monster. Yeah, what twelve year old gets to do that? R- exactly, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you just you just hung out down there and just 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 stayed for In fact, a week. I would do that had now. a great time. Yeah. Hello. If anybody's listening, <laughs> I'm available for a quick vacation. Oh no, he he literally he was down there doing that at the That's very awesome. beginning. And he grew up to know that he didn't want to have anything to do with the motion picture business. Wow. So that would have probably turned me if I was a twelve year old. I'd be like, oh, I gotta do this. Yeah, I I think that uh, you you wanted a successful life, <laughs> <laughs> right? A little bit, yeah. You, you, you know what? I uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure that 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 being in the motion picture business, it it makes for successful moments in a successful sounding life, right? But I think there's also that that I met Ian, so I think he's a little bit more normal. <laughs> he is. He is a little. So I think that kind of normal plays part than of it. what? Well, I just think you have to be normal. Th- more normal than what? It's like going into no, sales. More normal. You have to be somewhat crazy <laughs> <laughs> to go into sales or film. <laughs> so I mean, so are you saying now? Wait, because I'm trying to get you to clarify here. <laughs> more normal than what? More normal than than me? Than people that would go to film. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you want about uh, yourself. Yeah, I think you're right. You can draw your own conclusions. Uh, draw my own conclusions. <laughs> yeah, I think I already did. <laughs> but I'm just saying there's certain fields that I think you have to be slightly, maybe just like, you know, like more of a risk taker. Maybe it's a better way yeah, to put it. No, yeah, no. I don't right. think Ian's See, a risk taker. Ian is not a risk taker. No, you're absolutely right. Ian is not a risk taker. So I meant crazy, but I actually, I said crazy, but I really meant like willing to take chances and. Right. You know, yeah, he, cre- and you have a creative mind. It's a little different than I mean. Yeah. Uh, he, I guess he, he has a creative mind. He has but a very creative is, mind, but it's a different way. Yeah, it is in a slightly different way. Yeah, my, uh, you know, Ian, Ian does a really good job of 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 thinking inside of the box. He does think outside of the box too, but he, he's um more rigid about it. More um, I don't know. I have a tendency to go way out there. And have to rein it in. <laughs> well, I, I, in film though, that comes in handy because you have to do a lot of stuff like does on the fly, and you have to kind of come up with solutions for problems. Right. And and that is probably my biggest strength was in film. And, and this is something that I have heard from all these people that I'm talking to. Um, that you know, my thing, uh, and not not from my point of view, but my thing that other people told me says that, uh, yeah, that I was the problem solver. I was the one that, that stepped, s- stepped onto the set and said, no, we'll do it this way. And, and, and a lot of times just the way that I said it made us go that direction. Right. You know, I mean, I almost kind of a right or wrong thing. You know? Do you have anybody that like you pissed off back then, but now they kind of came around and said, Oh, he wasn't that big of an asshole. <laughs> I might have gotten that impression from somebody we talked to recently, but maybe not. <laughs> Why? What have you heard? 
What have you heard? <laughs> yes, a lot of the order. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> no, I'm just saying if there's somebody that always like says we're gonna do it this way, you know, maybe somebody right on the crew could be like, ah, oh, you know, this guy again. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. And you know what the thing is is, and, and and there's the thing is, there is that thing that you always play the. People like me play the percentages. Right. We want to be liked by 80% of the people. (laughs) 20% can just go to hell. (laughs) Right. Of course, if you're like me, you probably don't really care what people think about you. That's exactly what. As long as you're getting by. That's exactly it. You know, you you do get, and that's another thing is, is, is there's, there was a, a loyalty thing that, you know, these people would go, go with me no matter what. And, uh, and I did have a way of, creating a really loyal team and probably part of it was that i didn't get them lost too often right but you know what there is a problem that 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 kind of thing does broker uh it's a problem of that when you make a mistake absolutely everybody just wants to just say something about it <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah oh, mick made a mistake <laughs> made a mistake right. <laughs> i get a lot of that i i did at the time yeah so so hey, we didn't rate this one. How would you rate we this? Did, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know I, if I could rate this. How would you rate it? You know what? I have. I would rate it um, amongst uh, the uh, Muppet copies that I've seen as one of the best. Uh, I haven't seen a better print of it, and therefore I do know that one exists out there. Um, I would have to give it a three point five. And I was a huge Muppet fan, so yeah, growing up, I mean, yeah, I, you know yeah. what. It's it it's oddly charming in its own way. So I, I'm like you. I kind of need to see a clean version of this where it's yeah. the colors and yeah, yeah, know, remastered. I guess I'm, I I am going to search the earth to find. I'll a even better go farther. I want a remastered version that's clean that has Peter Jackson talking in the background explaining the stuff <laughs> that I'm seeing. Yeah, I don't want to hear anybody's <laughs> explanation of anything. <laughs> we did this. Uh, <laughs> this uh, is maybe everything was a metaphor for something else. Or uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the whole thing was just a giant yeah. metaphor for something. No, I think it was a or bunch of guys certain, just goofing around yeah. personally. But yeah, anyway. I uh, See, I don't want to rate it that high. I, I want to rate it like a three, but I feel like I need to see it. Maybe I need right, to watch a better it again. Version of it, yeah. Kind of soak it in a little bit more. You've seen it before. Yeah. So I've only seen it soak once. Soak it in? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad word. See, yeah, that's okay, hard. so I'm going to give it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give them a couple extra points because it was just out there. And I like out there stuff. Yeah, so yeah, 3.2. Okay. Okay, three point two. Yep. Okay, well, um, I'm not going to tell any other stories, uh, uh, just because uh, this uh, doesn't require it. Nope, I nope. don't think it speaks for itself. Hey, thanks for stopping by. All right, later. This is Kurt Thomas along with Mick Strong. Thank you for listening to the Dream Warrior Review. If you have any questions or just have feedback for our show, we welcome them at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com. Of course, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. As always, please follow us and tell your friends about us too. See you next time.
Story time. Story time. Story time. Story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. Story time with Mick.